Ah, take Robert here. I'm going to continue building the 3D printer. And now we're going to dig into section 7, heat bed and PSU assembly. And I think we'll take the heat bed in, in um, this video and then I'll make another one for the um, power supply. So let's see what we have to deal with. So I've already collected, collected the parts. Um, the hardware and wire collection for PSU and heat bed installation. Screw nuts and bolts. I need it emptied in there. And then the actual heated bed. This is the heated bed with the um, thermistor wire in it. Need those extra plastic pieces. Need it anymore. Okay, so let's get into the show, shall we? And then, our tools. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to gather um, the parts needed for this activity. And, um, Uh, they're pretty much on the table here. I do know that we don't, for the heated bed, we don't need these three yet. Like for the more for the power supply. So let's put those on the side for now. And you can recognize this because it's got red and red. Or you could look at it, it's got a round connector on the end and then it's got a fork connector on the end actually show that on the mini cow because it's very important to take the right cable otherwise it's not going to work so this cable has that one on the end one end and those those ones on the other end and there's only one of them so now we know we have the right cable and then we need to do step three heat bed cable assembly Quite a lot of hardware for this for this part. <laughs> and then we need to Okay, this will swap to the round. What's going on from underneath? Okay, now I understand what they're trying to. So, and don't put the ground wire on the wrong, wrong place. That would be bad news. Should actually say, let's see. Does it even have? Yep, it says ground. And ground is black. And you see, it's got it marked there. And right there. It says ground. And I'm just going to take the ground and make sure that you actually have it the flat against the flat and put the washer on Oops. Mm -hmm. 
still going. Oh, that's the way it should be. Screw on the other side. It's getting blocked all the time. Or the nut. Wires to hold it on the other side. And this has strong magnets on it just for your information. So if you have any, what do they call heart? Um, rhythm pr correction devices on your body, then consider treating this with a bit of care. Don't put it close to your chest. Or no, but it's got warnings on it, like that one. So read if you if you have a heart condition with assistance electronics, then then read the instructions. Double care. Okay. I actually would like to tighten that just a bit more. Is the magnets according catching even my tools? Ah, I wouldn't want that to move. Wait, I think it's tight enough now. Those are just the plastic bits. Put them in there. Okay, so. need to adjust the cable position in the next step, therefore do not adjust tight. Mm, I wonder if I tightened it too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, well I should read the instructions. Darn. That's life. So one should actually not have tightened that at all. Tighten it a bit. So now it can still be adjusted. Okay, the red wire needs to have the same treatment. So I will just get that screwed on. So that's the way they should be, so slightly inclined and then they can be tightened down. And then that part's done. And then they were talking about new and old uh, style cover and then I don't really know how we can tell what is th technically speaking Okay, so new design, circular holes in the top part. And I presumably mean that one, that's the top one I would assume. And then this is the bottom that has hex. So okay, so it is the new design. So then we can just continue. So to gather a bit of specific hardware for the cover. So we'll get those gathered up. Okay, now we got the um, uh, three screws, two normal nuts and one nylon nut. nuts in there and the pull technique 
is suggested. Because of the picture. So I will just get those in place. Okay, now we should take this large one. It should sit in the, like there, and there's a hole there. I think I might have the wrong screws. Have I looked up the wrong? Have I taken the wrong screws? It is very likely that I have done that. Taken the wrong screws. Oh, it's so hard to see. Because this would indicate that it's not. It is these. Well, no, it is these screws with that head. Because there's now two types of screws it's with that head form and the other. And there really is no. It, it doesn't say in the text. It just says 10 millimeter screws. It doesn't say. Just one. Oh, it needs to be done from the other side. Now, this is tricky. They are trying to trick us. That's what they are trying to do. That's the old design. Okay. No, oh, but I was doing it correctly. Oh, let me just continue until it really turns out to be not correct. The way the picture is, this is the way I understand it with that screw. And then we need to turn it around. should get the nylon screw. Nylon, not the screw.
leaves some slack under the heat belt so when the heat belt moves during print the cable won't get stretched resulting in disconnection from the center of the heat belt. Do not stretch the black thermistor cable. However the slack shouldn't be causing the cable to sag down the more than a few millimeters, otherwise the cable will rub against the Guide the black thermistor cable next to the heat pad cable and wrap it a few times around. Okay, so let's see if I understand the idea. So one shouldn't have it slack, but one should actually have it a bit slack. So take your pick. And I'm just gonna wrap it around. So uh, I think that's kind of reasonable. Something like that. And then we should take this here and <laughs> try and get it on there. Oh, let's see if it's stuck also. If it's been cut with that hot knife or something then. Yeah, it's like something that has heat on it has been cutting these because it's the same thing as in the, in the other. You can see it's burnt on the end. That makes it a bit crappy to open. So one's supposed to put this like there as a starter, wrapping around the whole cable, but not the complete, not to wrap it well until the end. Closer. Okay, and then next. I if you can see that. So that way. So now it's like partially wrapped and like that far away from. Take the smaller cover and prepare it earlier to place. Like in the picture. Now it looks like they tried to put the sleeve. Even though it doesn't even say that. It's trying to put the sleeve like a little bit into the cover. That would make sense, but it actually doesn't say that one should do that. Well, I think I'll just. Let's push the sleeve into there. That makes sense to me at least. And then that should go in the middle. Turn this the cable in the middle. Oh, that's a bit of a tight fit.
Well, move it around a bit. Well, they've been warning about this um, thermistor cable that it should end up in the middle. And it wants to slip onto the side. Okay, if I fiddle with this for a while. Okay, that was a bit difficult to get a. I'm not really 100% happy with the way I got it in there, but at least there's no major gap, and I don't think any of the wires are, are um, nipped. And this definitely won't come out. So, I think we call that a day. And then it was set uh, 13 is to wrap the cables in this so I will do that put the rest of the protection on so that's the sleeve on so it actually looks quite neat maybe it'll be alright okay now we're going to um, start working on putting the bed in it's place, so I got the printer back again. And I've gathered the hardware, so that's nine spacers and nine screws with the <coughs> that type of head, tapered head. And um, step 22, mounting the heating. So what one should do is to locate the center, put a spacer in it. I, I will continue with it try and um, center it, put the plate on, try and center it, and then put a screw in. And um, let's see how, how that'll work. So, we'll come in. Oh, spacer. Spacer in the middle, and then I should try and put this down, and with the cable going back, of course. And then I should try it. I have no idea where it is. somewhere. Now I've lost the screw hole. Oh, I can see this is going to be a right pain to do. Okay, smaller allen key. Take the smallest one. So we can try and locate the center. Central hole. Oh, I just don't drift that ski. Okay, I'm going to just have to struggle this away, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. Put the spacer under, put the plate on top of it, center it with an allen key, put the screw in, and then everything should be okay. In theory. So. Okay. That wasn't that fun. But anyway. Okay, so the next, um, after we got the center one, position and tighten down a little bit. So tighten the screw just slightly, maybe I'll tighten it too much, so I'll leave it open. And then you're going to use the pliers to insert the spacer underneath the right hand side, which is here. Try to position it with the Allen key. 
and then screw it in. So, wish me luck. Okay, that's the side one in. And that one has to go around and, and put the rest in. So that's all the, those remaining screws. And then it has a tightening pattern also that you should follow. So I will just do that. Okay, now I've got all the screws in. And warning, the spacers can be captured by the magnet. Oh, and the pliers can be captured by the magnets under there. So it, this mechanism is, yeah, it doesn't really work for those that incredibly well. And anyway, now we're going to do the tightening pattern. I thought I'd actually show it. Um, so the center screw already done. And then we have to do the those four screws. screws. Um, interestingly enough they actually did have a picture from the bottom which is the looking at the extruder cable and how it goes so that it actually has enough clearance but this is for the older model um, just where this this one is the older model so this one should be the newer model so it shouldn't actually have that problem but it actually does show a bit how the cable should go Okay, so that'll be that. Okay, so um, that will be for this video. If you liked it, um, consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon to pick up on the next one, because there's going to be more. And um, I will separate this unit into two parts, since the power supply is very important in terms of cabling and stuff. So we. I'm going to keep this video about the heated bed, and the next video will be about the power supply. And, um, okay. I'll see you in the next one!